I feel like, I mean, I know y'all get this all the time. Like people feel like they, they like know you Whitley and Dwayne, like, like y'all, you know, in your relationship, we were all rooting for you the whole time. Cause I think it was the first time we really saw like burgeoning black love and that, and, and, and these black bodies, you know what I'm saying? You know, the and unrequited, we were, the, the back and forth. Go ahead, Kadeem, tell us. We were, we were in, another thing is we were in your living rooms. You didn't have to pay and get dressed and go out to the movie theater or to the to the theater to, to see us. We were right there in your house. You could be cooking food while you you would sit down. You could have your shoes off. So when people come up and have moments like they do when they see us, it's because I was in your house. I was in the house. Little was, invited too. It was in curlers and or whatever. And so yeah, it feels like family. Jasmine, the most interesting fan you've encountered over the years. Most interesting fan. Yes. Wow. Uh, I think it was this dude at, in Whole Foods that read my book. And I was so sure he was going to say, you know, I watch a different world or whatever. But he said, I read Evolution of a Revolutionary and I really liked it. And he sat and like talked to me about it. And I was just like, I, I kept saying, you read it? You read it? Or Because <laughs> don't nobody really read, you know? Right, no more. And I know it takes more effort. It takes more effort. So I think off the top of my head, that conversation with him, because it was something I don't always talk about and because he actually read it and he was very um, articulate about what he liked and didn't like and asked me questions. And it was just kind of refreshing to talk about something other than, mm -hmm. you know, mm. where's Dwayne? I'm like, oh, my God, are you kidding me? <laughs> and do you think that shit is funny oh my god jasmine you know has arrived people still ask me where's Dwayne? like it's so new like hi where's Dwayne? i'm like hardy 35 hard. years ago okay and for those of you who don't know we just talked with jasmine a couple of months ago so we you know we are like we go way back we <laughs> old old girlfriends a phoenix Shakur, she did the book on Afina Shakur, Evolution of a Revolutionary. Jasmine is not Kanye West who doesn't read. He thinks it's like Brussels sprouts. Jasmine actually is a very <laughs> well-read, <laughs> well-rounded, grounded human being, you know? So I appreciate, shout out to that fan who was more than, uh, mm -hmm. you know, shallow. Yes, uh, <laughs> Kadeem, I'm gonna ask you the same question. 35 years ago, by the way, 35 mm -hmm. years ago on September 24th, huh. A different world made its debut. Wow. You were 10. Um <laughs> craziest fan that you've had. Um cr crazy. Uh it all kind of um melts into one very similar experience. So the one that sticks out recently, uh, you know, we were just starting to get love from a new generation. Like I, I knew the show was popular when it was on. I knew the ratings were always good, but I didn't know how far we reached. I know we went to Amsterdam and we got a lot of love there. I was like, Amsterdam? Oh, shoot. But I went to Portland <clears throat> for sneaker ball and um, we were having breakfast, pancakes or something with Ninth Wonder. And uh, one of the bus boys was walking by and with his, you know, dishes in his bucket and he saw me and he put it down and he got teary eyed and and he started to tell me about what an inspiration I was to him like like I I felt like yeah that's that kind of thing is in the air but to really hear it from someone firsthand like there were no likes there were no no clicks and no there was no Facebook there was no no way for fans to really reach into our pockets literally and say something to us and this was the first time I really got a taste of someone who had an emotional reaction, a real re emotional reaction to me eating pancakes. Like it was, uh, mm. it was fantastic. It was, you know, I'll never forget that one. You know, we had a similar thing where we were all coming out of somewhere oh, right. and we saw a girl on the street. It was me, Shorty, Cree, 
Charlie. Charlie, like, we were all together, all together for some press and we were coming out of, coming the, building out of the building and the girl thought she saw ghosts or yeah, something, she, you know. <laughs> she she, I, I kind of felt bad for her because I think all together is kind of yeah, weird, it's creepy, not, like, like what what's going, going on. And on, yeah, show, she was very things. moved yeah. and, and um she moved us, you yeah, know. Absolutely. You you don't always realize the effect you're having on people and you know, when people go to school because of that show or when they, um, you know, try harder in their relationships because of that mm. show mm. or when they realize they have possibilities that they don't see in their own family or in their neighborhood. Sometimes kids will say, you know, I'm the first one to go to college because of that show, mm -hmm. because we have to let them know there's this opportunity and it's available to you. Mm -hmm. Um and if you don't see it on TV or in a movie, you're not going to know about it. Right. Because in California, HBCUs aren't, I mean, they didn't know what an HBCU was. I did because I'm from the East Coast. But out there, they're like, what's a black college? Let's just get what the lines to say, and they're black. So we'll make it a black college. Huh. Larry, wow. She's hilarious. Um, Kadeem Hardison. Uh, son of Beth Ann. I want to just say that because your mother's an icon, so I want to give her her all her flowers because uh, you wouldn't be here without her. Nope. J not just you know because she birthed you in any way possible. Man, um, when you got the script for this, did you first of all walk us through that you know experience of getting the script? You read it, and how did you get the role? Like <clears throat> I know that you've told the story a thousand times, but <laughs> thousand tell it again, oh. please. Um, so we went to Atlanta to do school days and I had been Spike Lee, Spike, Spike Lee, Lee. Shout okay. out Spike Lee, little Spike Lee. We, we, uh, <laughs> I love. He, he, yeah, you love, and yo, um, <laughs> little, little Spike Lee. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so, no, so he, he had me come down to, um, homecoming, my first actual homecoming. We went to Atlanta, just, I think, select cast, you know how Spike is, he, he took the fellas and he wanted us to come down homecoming to see what homecoming was like. And I didn't understand what homecoming was like. I didn't know what a black college life meant. I didn't, none of that made any sense to me. So we do this movie. That's why I meet Jasmine. I meet Daryl Bell um, and a bunch of other friends. And then we go, I go to California to stay with, you know, hang out with some friends and, uh, and see Lisa. Cause I did an episode of the Cosby show. So I went and saw Lisa who was shooting the spinoff, a different world. And Dawn and Marissa were in it, and um, and I watched an episode, and it went really long. Like it was, you know, they were there <laughs> like deep into the night, and the audience was kind of tired, and and I was like, "Ooh, boy, you know, this looks like it needs some help." Two weeks later, I got a call. Hey, they're looking for some new characters on a Different World. I was like, "They better be." <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Um, gives zero Fs. <laughs> so, Love it. so so they sent me the sides and I looked at it and I was like, ah, okay, I could do this. I don't think this show is gonna last really very long. So I'll take it, maybe make a little money, stay out here with this girl and you know, see what happens, and then maybe go back to New York and get on my movie star grind because I wanted to be in movies. I get the part. Um and I'm like, okay, now I'm committed. They make you sign for seven years, but I really thought this show was going to last maybe eight episodes. And then they're going to be like, yeah, that was a nice try. We're not really going forward with this. Wait, but it was a Cosby, which was the number you know, one show in yeah. the world. Yeah. It was a Cosby spinoff. Why would you think? But I, but I saw, I saw, I saw them. I saw an episode. Okay, you saw the episode. Okay, no, all right. You said, I got some offer talent. Like I had, just, I had just come from Atlanta and school days, which was an authentic portrayal of life at an HBCU, you know, for me, because I had never been to one. So here I am now at watching uh, them do the season one of a different world without me and Jasmine. And I'm watching this thing and I'm like, Oof. Mm -mm. where are they supposed to be from? Yeah. Oh uh, no, this 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 well, this ain't gonna work. But I'm gonna get paid a little bit, and then I go back home in New York and got the job. We won a people's choice. Uh, uh, got the job, and then Jasmine showed up. And from school days, where she was Dina. Yeah, <laughs> she was Dina, and then she showed up, and um, and I was like, okay, well, I know she's badass. Uh, I'm wondering how this is gonna work. 
And then before long, Daryl Bell, who was my best friend, whose couch I was staying on while I was there, <laughs> who would drive me to work every day, he ended up getting a gig on it. And I was like, okay, well, we having a good time, but this don't feel like what I thought HBCUs was like from what I just did. I saw Atlanta. I was in Atlanta. I was, we were there. Um, so yeah, I'm thinking, okay, this, this still might not work, but then we won a people's choice award at the end of season one. And I was like, these mm. do you know any people that vote for the people's choice award? Do you know any people who know any people who vote for the people's choice award? <laughs> Uh, teenage Jesus, you know any? No, <laughs> no, nope. teenage Jesus. None, none, none of us. I never heard so that People's Choice Award. I thought they might be trying to keep us around, like you know they're gonna make it stick. And then Kaz had Debbie come, and that's when the whole world got different. And it was a different world with Debbie Allen than boom. where you come from. Boom! Look now, at you. It's, yeah, I, I did that. Um, I was inspired by Aretha. She, she, I should get a picture of her to sit right here oh, don't um, with a fax machine next to it. Yeah. Oh, so um, Jasmine, Jas there's a whole story there. So Debbie Allen shows up and you, you have a little something, you know, your early dancing self, you know, your school days uh, performing just amazing self. Was it the energy of Debbie Allen or was it the vision of Debbie Allen? Was it the, what was the magic of Debbie Allen? What was it? Well, Debbie Allen and I met when I was 18 and I did this show called Fame. I auditioned for her. It was an eight hour audition in New York City with the best dancers I had ever seen in my life. Wow. I danced my ass off that day. I was like, is that my foot? I had never <laughs> had my foot up that high. I was like, okay. Come on through. So, um, of course, I knew she was and I was a fan, but. Um, actually went to I did the pilot then went to LA and and did the TV show there so I knew Debbie I had worked for Debbie uh many times she is um you know she's a dancer first she's very um her work ethic is uh, very strong she never she never gives in never gives up and you have to hang with her and everybody that hangs with her stays with her she's also very loyal so she called me to tell me that she was, you know, the producer on the show now for the second season. And she was the one that told me that the Whitley and Dwayne characters were going to um, get together. Mm -hmm. And I was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> okay. What was that about? It was like Jasmine Guy. I'm a, I, well, first of all, the first season, tracking from the first season, I'm older than he is. He's she's chasing after Denise Huxtable. And I didn't see that kind of girl going with an, a freshman, to be right. quite honest. I saw a senior, captain of football, professor. <laughs> okay, you know, I, I just saw that. her as that kind of girl. I didn't see her as a girl that would be going out. And they made him so goofy that year. You know, so it, it that that leap, but also like both of our characters were dependent on Denise Huxtable. Yeah. You know, so it's like taking the hub and having the spokes kind of try to kiss, <laughs> you know. Right. But they had they had an idea and yeah. they they wrote it and they made it work. And then we, you know, we talked about it if we were having issues or plus we were friends too. So it was like, okay, we got to make this fly, you know? Um, and of course, I was hoping she would, you know, that the Denise Huxtable character would be back and that Lisa would be back. Um, yeah, but then Angel Heart happened and it was like a um, rooster, a dead rooster and um, some sex and stuff. It was, uh, it was a strange movie. Uh, do y did either of you see Angel it? Heart before the first season? Angel Heart happened before we did a different one. But that was the sin that did Jezebel in, wasn't it? No, though, she wasn't got it Angel pregnant? Heart? Yeah. And oh, they that put oh. her pregnant on the show. Okay, it was Lenny Kravitz who was known as Romeo Blue. That happened. That uh -huh. happened. Yeah. But wasn't but there I, controversy? I it would have been very interesting to have a young mother going to school. I mean, it happens all the time. Mm -hmm. Would have been interesting storylines and given. I don't know, but that was just yeah. You but know. you know, Cosby was on this pristine image thing with Alvin Poussaint. So having mm -hmm. even in college an unwed mother, you know, he wanted us to pull our pants up 
and do all of those things while he was no i won't get y'all involved but you know he he wanted us to to have respectability that wouldn't have been very respectable in the 80s okay yeah see I ain't ah. it. he should have yeah. you ain't she buying it she should have she should have been on the show i, I think. think it would have been really interesting been and realistic yeah. and it would have helped out some girls in Shit, i went to high school with, with girls that exactly. were pregnant exactly so who See, are we fooling? Yeah. Well, that's but the point. Me, I don't know what, you know, I just think it would have been uh, not only interesting, but showing truth, you know, and that you don't have to give up going to school just when you have a baby. You know, it could have given other messages to our community that we needed to hear because it happens all the time. And we were big so, on messages. Yeah, we were yeah. big on messages. But anyway, that was just my lowly opinion. We no, were just happy to have a job. Because- I was going to say, <laughs> was, was there a backdoor uh, thought of revolt? Well, if she's not going to be here, neither am I. Oh, hell no. Have- I, was just happy it was the- I was like, <laughs> it wasn't you. <laughs> no, I didn't even think of revolting. Yeah. I didn't- Look, I didn't I did. even know. He probably did. He I knew did. more about TV oh, than I did. So. Lisa. We couldn't really revolt. We had seven year contract. <laughs> yeah, exactly. One of the things Lisa did, and they used to make her undo, she mm. had a whole row of earrings mm. around her ear, and they'd make her take out most of them for the show. Oh, I didn't know that. And so for the second season, I got a second hole in my in my ear and wore two earrings as my tribute. That revolt. was your oh, you a wild that, boy. No, he's wild. <laughs> I'm like, I thought you were gonna tell me you had a row of earrings. No, yeah, I was. I couldn't go that far, but I, was I like, did two. Like, I had two earrings. Right, yeah. Did the thing. Yep. That was um. It. Hmm. <laughs> Thirty-five years ago, TV One is going to be honoring you guys. Uh, there's going to be a marathon, a marathon, a marathon reunion, homecoming, thirty-fifth anniversary, all day Saturday. Uh, what are you guys doing uh, to celebrate 35 years? Uh, can you even process that? Because I, I feel like it was just yesterday. That's what it feels like. Uh, I'm going to do cocaine and chicken wings. Okay. All right. That, yeah. that sounds like a plan. Yeah. Um, mm, okay. All right. A lot of chicken wings and cocaine. Uh, I might have some friends over. I don't know. I don't remember <laughs> all the episodes. So it's yeah. going to be like watching it for the first time. Did I tell you about that little girl? This little girl came up to me. She was about 10. She said, my mama made me watch your show. And I've seen all episodes. I've seen every season. And I know all your lines. I said, you do? I said, let me see something. She did a whole scene. She was Whitley and Dwayne. <laughs> <laughs> I was like this. She had the accent. I didn't even remember doing the scene, but it had to have been the right words. She had the words. And I oh told her God. mother, I said, that baby. And she was so, mm. I don't know, not bold, but just confident. Confident. You yeah. know, yeah. like I got her. Yeah. I got you. Exactly. I know how, you know what I mean? And I just loved mm-hmm. it. So mm-hmm. I might watch it with fresh eyes. You know, I think that's what I'll do on Saturday. I love it. All right. Episode As two. I clean out my refrigerator. Oh, okay. So what's in the refrigerator that needs cleaning out? Jasmine well, Gump? when I've been out of town, I have to go in there and get rid of all the food that's in there and do all the shelves and wash it down with hot water and everything. Yeah. Do you and use I've vinegar? Been for like four days. Huh? Okay. Is it vinegar and hot water or just hot water? I just use hot water and um, soap, but I do use vinegar on my cutting board. Apple cider okay. vinegar. Okay. Checking. just so you know just so you know. Oh, thank you thank you for that more tips yeah no no this is good well uh kadeem's doing cocaine and chicken cocaine wings so i'm not I'm sure his refrigerator looks a whole hot yeah. how hell of a mess i'm imagining you have a messy refrigerator he might do chicken wings i don't i don't see him with no cocaine that is that that is not that's what made it hilarious. That's yeah. what made Did it hilarious. Did you say Coke? Cocaine. Or... Oh, cocaine. Cocaine. Say cocaine. Yeah, it's hilarious because yeah, he doesn't have a hilarious. cocaine body. You know, no. it's clear that, you know, <laughs> that the whole the cocaine would have certain yeah. markers, you know, yeah. and he's not I'm down with jittery. The wing I don't part. even drink, really. Yeah, so. he don't do that. Yeah. 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 He's like too games. chill. Too yeah. chill. He's naturally chill, gentle spirit. Yeah. Yes. I love Kadeem He'll Hardison. kick your ass if he, he needs to. I have to add that. Well, that's the New York in him. Yeah. Yes. Stand up. All right. Season two, episode four. 
Do you guys remember it? Season two, episode four. After. Dream lover? No. Give me a yes. Yes. Go ahead, Kadeem Hardison. Wow. You better you better know that. Yes. Wow. Come oh, on. When Willie had the dream about Dwayne. Oh. That's when yes. it changed. Wow. Yeah. Yes. That's when, it, that, yeah. That's when we had to start they going, introduce, okay. Introduce this. Yeah. Now. Now, tell me how weird it was, because I'm imagine y'all, because the way I see you two is like Jasmine's like chill. You're chill. Y'all kicking it like friends. You each have your own relationships. Kadeem probably was a bit of a uh, uh, hoe back then. I'm just imagining. Um, and so right. now now you're, you know, because he's, you know, he, he's not Dwayne Wayne. You know, he's he's really fly. And and you, you're Jasmine guy. Every you know, people have you on their walls. And they're fantasizing about you. Now not, you t- not by episode four. You getting ahead of yourself. <laughs> okay, right. might have happened in season five, but not season two. All right, I let's was, be I, honest. I still good, like just chilling by myself. No, light skin was in. So let's let's be really yeah. I remember the eighties. It was like Janet. You, I mean, it was okay. So now you two have to s- smooch come together. And so what 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 was the preparation leading into? Because that was a moment. That was Did a we moment. Kiss in that episode. Yes, yeah. it was in a dream. Computer, remember? You I the, kissed you on the computer. Uh, um, I was trying to. Was that it? When I was, you were having problems with the computer, and you got so frustrated. Make it come back. Make it come back. And I came over and was like, "Yo, just bop, bop, bop." And you were like, "Thank you." Mm-hmm. And kiss me, and I was like, "What the? Fuck? <laughs> oh shit!" And then okay. you got up and ran out. Then there was a dream sequence uh, when you came in, and that was when I had to pick you up, and you taught me to pick you up and hold, support you, and spin around and the whole shit. And and yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember See, that. We really, you know, I was spoiled working with Kadeem because a lot of actors. They don't rehearse. They don't want to run lines. They don't want you telling them nothing. Or can you give me more of this? Can you get, they get offended. And I got used to working with somebody that I could collaborate with, you know? And even to this day, when we worked on um, uh, Casey Undercover, if there was a glitch or something I was having an issue with, I always go to Kadeem. I said, this, that line isn't working mm-hmm. or something that, you know, cause he has a great eye and he's honest and it's very direct and simple. Mm-hmm. You know, sometimes directors and actors be talking so much. I'm like, just tell me what the hell you want me to do. <laughs> well, if I was coming from the restaurant, I'm like, <laughs> you going all the way back to the restaurant. <laughs> You know that actor talk. I'd be like, whatever, just yeah. do it. If yeah. it doesn't work, we'll get a note. Yeah. So yes. We, we, I just we did like... that. We did our dance. Uh-oh. We did our dance. Yeah. That yeah. Was, that was fun. I remember that. I remember that. And then I think I had a line like, "Tastes better than the brownies." Yeah. That. Oh you, my god. Seems off. so long ago. Yeah. Right. Yeah. It was like thirty-four years ago. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, are you guys ever gonna work together again? Uh, we hope Coming so. Up? Yeah, we, we did, did. Did a little Christmas we, joint. Yeah, we yeah. did a Christmas movie. We did Casey Undercover. Casey Undercover. And I would. Love I would to, love to work with yeah, Kadeem. I absolutely. love working with him. Yep. And but, are you know, you- it, it, it's going to always if they're going to put us together, it's going to be reminiscent of a different world. Mm-hmm. So without doing the actual show, mm-hmm. um, it's a little like a to me, it's like a nod, like a you know what I mean? Right. Like I don't think people take us seriously as actors. <laughs> right. Unless like we're, we're, we're together, right. they're like, oh that, that way, makes way. sense. You yeah. know, no matter yeah. what. So yeah. but hmm. it's fun. you just challenge me as a writer. I'm gonna write something for y'all. Let's I'm go. gonna do that. I'm gonna do It'd that. Be I'm interesting look- if we weren't a couple. Yeah. But yes, no, I got you. My brother. Yeah, he's gonna be a serial killer. No, oh. I'm, I'm, I got you. I got you. Yeah. Now, okay. And she and she's a, she's a detective. I'm a yeah, detective. Come on. Yes, yeah. I got it. I, I got it. Don't to do that. Don't tell me. Look, I got my pen. Listen. Turn, turn the sound down. We don't want nobody to steal. Don't that. tell nobody. All right. Ja- a- answer my call when I call you though, Jasmine, because I'm have serious. A lot of black male c- uh, serial killers. No, well, he, he could be. No, there are some. Yeah. Like I'll Dexter. Be, but yep. like yes. real cool. 
Come on now. I see you, Kadeem. I see you at the yeah. left corner of my right eye. I see Love you. <laughs> I love y'all.